Today we'll be showing you how to install a new power supply into the Alienware Aurora R2. Here I've got the old power supply, 525 watt from original standard. And then this one is a new, new one I just got, two times the size. And it's from the Alien Aurora, I mean Alienware Area 51 ALX. And to do that, there's a couple screws in here you need to take out. This one and this one. You need to take out one behind the power right there. You may not be able to see that. Sorry about that. And uh, you need to take that out. And this piece will slide up. And you'll be able to take this hard drive bay out. But there's a couple screws in the back. Just like this. There's four of them in the back. And then under the casing, there will be two screw holes you need to take those screws out of. And that's all you got to do to take the hard drive bay out. And then you got to unplug the power supply. Take the screws out from it. And then there's a... Uh, you take that off. And, on the other, and this is where... There would be normally two screws on the other side to take that piece off. But then uh, once you unscrew these four screws on here, take that off. And then you put it on to this power supply right here. As so. Just like that. There's four screws in right there. And now I just got to put this piece on. There's four screws in the back that I need to put in. And I will be doing that. Now everything should fit okay. Those screws are in, and then this side screws are in. And then before you put it in, there is normally a stud, metal stud right here to keep that little plastic cover in right there. And right about here. You have to whack them with a, a hammer and a screwdriver, or well, a flathead. And you gotta hit them at the end of them. And it should take about two good wax to loosen them up, and then you can just take them out. It's as easy as that. Because that, cause when you put in this new power supply, it's going to be hitting those. It's as easy as that. I'm going to put, put in the new power supply right now.